Hey everybody! This week we're going to work on some paint pouring. In your packets you either have three paint tubes that look like this or you have some that I had poured into little canisters. Um, you should also have a dowel, a little mini canvas, <laughs> and a mixed media paper. This one's smaller than all of yours because so I wanted to try something on the other one. Those of you who have these containers, to make sure that the paint didn't dry up, I had to tighten them pretty tight. Um, hopefully you can get them undone. <laughs> I'm going to demonstrate on this little canvas. Um, you can use either the canvas or the paper. I just know that um, there isn't a whole lot of paint, so the canvas would probably be your best bet. Inside your containers, whatever kind of container you have, there is tempera paint. We are using tempera paint because it is a little more watery than acrylic paint and is better for kids. So paint pouring is pretty simple. You just pour your paint on your canvas. What you want to do is be very careful when you're pouring it and you want to get a nice blob that one is kind of a big blob. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shift that a little bit. And then you take another color and you carefully pour it on top of the first color you have. And you can do this in a couple different spots, alternating your colors. You all should have about three different colors in your packet. I just have two because I wanted to make sure you guys had all of the better colors. <laughs> so with this paint pouring, you don't have a lot of control over anything. And what you want to do is use your dowel or you can use a toothpick or something bigger. And you just want to start mixing your paints. You can do like a really big swirl you can kind of make little arches around everywhere. I'm going to leave that because it kind of looks like a heart and I think that's pretty cool. And all you do is you kind of mix your pieces around. Some of your colors will mix together. You don't want to mix it up too much because then you won't get, you won't see as many different colors and you kind of want to keep your colors pretty solid. You want to keep some of them, you don't want them to totally mix together. And you can fill up your whole entire canvas. You can just kind of keep swirling it around. <laughs> 